All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhat Dash, Rakhat the Yahweh, Rakhat the Yahushai, Rakhat the Yahweh, Rakhat the Yahushai, Rakhat the Yahweh, Rakhat the Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhat Dash. We give double honors to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders at Great Millstone, and to you, hopeful elect on the four corners of the planet Earth, that's pushing this truth with all sincerity, sincerity, honesty, and faith. Time at the end, 2020, things are going uh, fast, man. The Lord's trying to get us out of here fast. Lord willing, we'd be a part of the hopeful elect, all right, which is pushing this truth and, and, and maintaining to the time that we at, man. Um, you see it taking place, uh, Jake. Man. <laughs> Jake is on another another level with this um with this simping, man. All right. Brothers have been doing videos on this, but this is uh it, it it's coming out. And prophecy is, is being revealed, man. All right. This is a, this is a part of the curses of us falling, where you have women ruling over men. All right. This is the prime example because all things, all the words of the Lord must come to pass. All right. It was going to pass in the past, but this year has been very fruitful with this woman pride. Even the whole Black Lives Matter is run by women, uh, three lesbian women. So that movement is gaining clout. So that that spirit of woman leadership and, you know, they got that black woman is the running mate of the vice, vice president. So he starts doing that woman bigging up and putting them on that pedestal, which the scriptures speak against that, because that that that's out of order, man. All right. That's out of order. As you see here on the screen, uh, this is from uh, the Phil Scott show. All right. This is a Jake. He goes definitely in. Uh, let me see him here. You everybody knows this brother, or knows this this guy from the field show, but that's not the point. He he did a, a lesson. That's why I know he be watching Jake videos, because he be watching Israelite videos because he do have that spirit. But this woman right here, that shows because all this is just it, it, it's it, this picture itself is magic because she don't look like that. That hair ain't hers. The the look that she's put. Pre presenting to herself is not a look of a proud Israelite woman because you got straight hair. No, our women here are not straight. All right, unless you're from one of the other tribes. But the main purpose is that this this world would head up these women because you got a lot of these women that do fan only pages. You're pretty much making yourself a harlot, man. You are you're turning yourself into a harlot for the world to see. All right, let me let me get that real quick. Because I think that's a point that needs to be hit, man. The the harlotry is what you see taking place. Uh, let's start at, this is Sirach 25 and 13. It says, give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. All right. And let's jump down to um, verse 19 it says all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman let the portion of a sinner fall upon her all right verse 21 stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire not for pleasure so just like today you see the outline these women portray on these these instagrams and different things it's not real man you falling for a, a a facade because once the makeup and all that comes off you you're looking at a, a, a sea monster but let's go back to the main purpose of this video is that this woman has posted a picture that she's in a, a poly marriage where she's married to this guy on the the original husband is this guy. The guy in the gray sweater and the black and tan uh, fit right here. OK, the black pants or the khaki pants and black shirt. All right. That's the original husband. And then they met this guy at a, a, a an event and so-called they hit it off and then now they all one happy weird demonic family all right that's off man that's off that's 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 totally against the scriptures man all right that's totally against the scriptures because women take dna of men and that's how the baby comes out with the dad's features and the mom's features okay because part of that man enters into that woman once he leaves his sperm into that man. That's part of his DNA. 
as part of his spirit, okay? So if a woman deals with multiple men, each and every time a man ejaculates in that woman, that spirit or that genes are in that man, all right? I'm going to let y'all brothers look at something. You know that I, I did a video on this back in the day, but how many different sperm men men have watch this it says how many sperm does men ha men produce okay let me see how many different types Because uh, they broke it down, sperm comes in three types. You have a fighter sperm, a blocker sperm, and then you have the fertilized sperm. Okay, let's read this. It says in this, it says this, it says in the stimulus production of two or more digestive type of sperm by a single male, the sperm types might differ in size, shape, and are chromosome complete or uh, 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 complement. Sperm heteromorphosis is also called sperm polymorphosis or sperm diamorphosis for species with two sperm types typically one sperm type is capable of fertilizing a fertilized type be called uh it says fertile fertile types have been called eosperm or eurypthus or ureum sperm so like i can't i can't pronounce that and fertilized type permus or apermen sperm all right so there's multiple different types of sperm that enters into because you have a tacker sperm then you have blocker sperm and then you have a fertilized sperm all right that goes into a woman and um fights off other sperm that are actually in that woman at that time okay so when these women put that have these 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 sperm or different men coming in, uh, 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 dealing with them like that, you're, um, adding, you're adding that, you're adding that, uh, uh, spirit unto yourself, so each of these men put their sperm in, their, in that woman, that's creating confusion, man, all right, so this right here, they saying that they're in a poly relationship, and, you know, and they're happy and good to go, no, man, this woman's committing whoredom, all right, whoredom, because how, how is this going to multiply the, the, the how is life going to go on? Because there's already more men, there's more women than there are men. So you're going to have women that ain't got no, and then you want men, women to double up, triple up. Then there's going to be way out of number because there's more women on the planet Earth than there are men. So how's that going to work? That's total confusion, man. That's total confusion. That goes against the, the dynamic of creation of life. This right here is a ploy by the elites to control population because this woman can technically only get pregnant eight months, if not a year out of the time, because she has to heal from the actual pregnancy. So it's going to take about a year and some change for her to be able to have another child again. You know, let's say about a year, you know, if you happen fast. So you got to wait years, you know, about a year. But you have multiple women. One man can now reproduce and be fruitful. In one year, if he deals with 10, 12 women, I'm just giving you a, a, a number. This is how creation would work on, on a multiple scale because that one man can have 12 kids in a year. That'll bring back a tribe or strengthen the tribe more than one woman having a child a year or maybe two, uh, two a year and, and a half. That doesn't work, man. On top of you got deaths and diseases. What if the woman starts falling to the wayside, man? All right, but this is this is the the society that Esau wants because this is another form of of um, population control, having this poly relationship because they also push that sodomite because that's also a population control on top of wickedness. So Esau knows what he's doing, man. These 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 women are set up. All right, very very set up. Let's keep reading this. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire not, desire her not for pleasure. It says a woman, if she maintain her husband, that means one. 
It didn't say husbands. It says husband. A woman, if she maintained her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. A woman, if she maintained her husband, is full of verse 23. A wicked woman abideth, abateth the courage and maketh the heavy continent and a wound, a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So come on, man, that's plain. The woman's supposed to tend to her husband, not husbands. That's off, man. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> I don't hate to say it. I enjoy to say it. It's off. And the Lord is going to judge that matter, man. For her to put that out there is going to judge because that's a pride. You can see the pride on her, man. She's not shame faced. She's not sitting in the back with her head covered and let the men take the front role. She's in the front and, and, and assuming that dominant role, that, that alpha role, man. That's not, hey, that's off. You can tell their spirit is, is low because even this guy on um, uh, Phil, he said, man, they, they pulling off a soft vibe. Like they might be dealing with each other, man. See that? Because men are naturally dominant. We're very territorial, like he said, man. We're not, we don't, we don't like that, man. You know, that's why men don't like women to be out there, you know, like that, because that's our our possession. We don't, men shouldn't have to share their wives, man. That's their property, all right? Just like farmers don't share their livestock, you get your own livestock. Or you, you buy and get your own and form your own, man. That's your livestock, all right? But... Like it says, this is Esau's world, so what are you going to do, man? We can just, you know, speak against it, make it well known in the scriptures, and go from there. This is Isaiah 3 and verse 12. Isaiah 3 and 12, it says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy past. Just like this. This is err, man. This is an error. This is this is this is wrong. All right. It's not it don't look they don't look comfortable. They he they look more happy standing next to each other than they do standing next to her. You know, they just look like they just there and she just the 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 block. The, you know, that they look happier here than they do with her in the picture. So that's showing you what Jake on, man. You know. Hey, we live. Hey, we live in a corrupt ass world, man. Very, very corrupt, and it's only getting worse. It says, "For my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them." What's the word "rule"? Let's get up that word "rule." The word there is "mashal," "mashal." All right, "mashal," which says, "Rule have dominion, reign to rule, have dominion, cause to rule, exercise dominion." So I bet she didn't ask these dudes to, if she could post it. She's just like, look, I'm going to put this out here so she can show the other women out there. That, look, y'all got two men by me. Y'all can't get a man. I got two bro I got two men on deck. That's pride, man. She didn't do that to, 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 try, to, pump, to try to push that type of lifestyle because it's, it's, it's so beneficiary and everything is going great. No, she used that to, to show off, man. To show off to, to, to the, her all, all her fans and other women out there that look what I got. I got two brothers on on, on, on on the side of me, man. These my men. That's pride, man. The Lord gonna judge a lot of these women out here, bro. You know, I, I say it because it's disgusting. This right here is disgusting. It's not it, it, this is where our people have, have came down to. The kings on the earth are, 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 are walking on on world walking on the ground, man, to have women walk over. This is off, man. It's not it's not a good look. Definitely not a good look. You know, where's the king? Where Solomon and, and, and uh David, King David, and they had they had um teen wives, man. They weren't talking about, yeah, let me root, let me have, let me share a wife. What? Crazy. Verse 13. It says the Lord standeth up to it says the Lord standeth up to plead. Right after that, the Lord standing, I just standing up. With the, the apostles, the elders, and the men out there pushing the truth, the prophets. It says, and stand it to judge the people. Who's a judge? That's why you had the book of Judges. Men were set up as judges. 
The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancient of his people and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up my vineyard and spoil. It says in the spoil of the poor is in your house. Because Jacob, Jacob's wicked, man. That's why we're in the position we in now. So the Lord's got to correct things and, 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 and put it back into um, the correct way. This is Sirach 9 and verse 8. It says, turn away thine eyes from a beautiful woman. And look not upon another, uh, look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Just like these guys right here. Deceived. <laughs> what did the Lord say? The deceived and the deceiver are his. It says, turn thine eyes from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For herewith love is kin. It says, and herewith love is kindled as a fire. So low willingness is edifying and say, hey, the Lord got to come and take us from this, man. Because they can't keep going like this. Jake is being too simple, man. Just like the brother said on the video, simps, man. Where's your kingly, where's your king-like mentality? All right? At the end of the day, you, you're not appealing to that woman. Because woman appeal, that's why mascul masculinity appeals, man. Not fe feminist, man. That's being feminine, effeminate being soft you know jake trying to wear hats and try to pull on that image of a you know it, it, it it's done man that's that's why jake has totally totally been been broken down and beaten let me get one more precept real quick uh let me get this this is second ezra 16 it's the second ezra 16 and verse 49 it says like as a whore envy if a righteous so like it, like as a whore, envy is a right, honest, and virtuous woman. So this right here is a whore, man. You ain't playing nothing but a whore. You already got a fans only, fans only, where people, men, can pay money to see you do who knows what. And, and, and you're supposed to be a virtuous woman? No, a virtuous woman, a woman has a head cover, tends to a house, does gardening, cooking, you know, and, and respects herself. She doesn't have to be an only fan. Some men don't even know how she looks. You know, that's that's a good look right there, man. All right, so Lord willing, this is edifying. With that, I'm going to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Karkadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Karkadash. Shalom, Akim. Until the next time, keep faith and uh, hold on to it, man. 2020 is a beautiful year. Shalom.